In 1975, the World Hockey Association would expand to add the Calgary Cowboys to the league. They made it to the playoffs their very first season, facing off against the much stronger Quebec Nordiques. Everyone predicted it would be a complete sweep for Quebec, but Calgary had an ace up their sleeve, the pure violence that the WHA was famous for. The Cowboy coach Joe Crozier had a plan. Quebec's top scorer, Mark Tardif, was the scoring leader of 1975 and had to be eliminated, so he would task Rick Jodzio to make it happen. The Cowboys would win Game 1 in a 3-1 upset, but when Game 2 came along and things weren't going their way, Jodzio flew off the bench on a line switch, raced to Tardif and cross-checked his face. Jodzio began pummeling him, forcing Quebec's goaltender, Richard Brodeur, to intervene. Calgary's goaltender, Wayne Wood, would jump in the pile, followed by both benches. The brawl would last 20 minutes and only stopped when the Quebec police entered the arena and forced both teams into their dressing rooms. Calgary would go on to upset the Nordiques, but at a great cost. Crozier was suspended, the WHA's vice president resigned, Tardif suffered major brain trauma and was never the same again, Jodzio was banned from the WHA for life and charged in Quebec court. Calgary would lose to the Jets in round two.